Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing just a really laid back chatty get ready with me playing with some new makeup. I have drugstore and high end makeup products so I'm really pumped. I created this look and girl, this is worth watching. There's a lot of good products in this video, like so many good ones and a lot of them are really affordable which is like... I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to order some food, grab your snacks. You guys know my videos are usually really long. I'm sorry if you don't enjoy long videos, but I really like to not rush and I really like to tell you guys my thoughts about products and yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm going to try to make more shorter videos. But anyways, I hope you enjoy and let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I already primed my lids and I set them and everything and today for eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Soap X eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited about this because I really enjoy the highlighter palette from Soph, the collaboration that this YouTuber did with Makeup Revolution so I have high hopes for this palette and so many of you guys told me that this is a really amazing palette. So this is what the colors look like. So I'm actually going to just start off by using a transition shade and I'm going to just pick up this shade right in here. And it's just a really nice warm brown. I'm going to take that and just blend that right into my crease. And to blend that in, I'm just using my NYX blending brush. I really like how smooth this color is. It's really pigmented, but it's like a nice shade because it's not too intense, so it's like a perfect transition color. Oh, and by the way, if you guys see that right there, that's my oil diffuser, so don't be scared if it's changing colors. Um, I have it on right now because as you guys can tell, um, I'm a little like nasally and sick, and my oil diffuser helps me so much. So it's just a really nice transition color. I am building it up quite a bit. Next, I'm picking up this shade right here, which is a deeper version of the shade that I was just using. It's a little bit more red toned, and it's a little darker, so I'm going to use this with a Morphe E17. I'm just gonna start packing that on on the outer part of my crease. Ooh, this is really pigmented, as you can see. Found my palette at Ulta, by the way. Definitely check out your local Ulta. I don't know if all Ultas are like expanding or if it's just mine, I don't know. But my Ulta has expanded so much with makeup. They have so many new makeup displays. They have Flower Beauty, Wet n Wild, Elf, Makeup Revolution section is just like huge and my Morphe section also is a lot bigger than it was so I'm really really excited because I used to have to order a lot of things online. Not that I really mind shopping online but I like looking at the makeup in person better because obviously you can see colors better and stuff so definitely check out your Ulta. Let's add more colors in the crease. I'm picking up this, oh which color do I want to do? Let's start off with this pinky color right up here. I'm going to just swatch it. Ooh. And I'm going to use a different brush. This is a Morphe M518. I really want to make the crease very like warm, fiery, orange, pink. I'm going to take this and kind of just basically do what I just did with the shade previously. I'm kind of just really intensifying it and making it super dramatic. You really just need to dab your brush in here a little bit by the looks of it because the shades are just so pigmented. I'm just taking a makeup cloth, and I always keep these whenever I do my makeup, and I'm just taking that same brush, and I'm kind of just wiping it away on here. And I'm going to just pick up this orange color right in here and run that in the crease area as well. Ooh, look how pigmented all these shadows are. So far, so good with this palette. I'm going to just use a clean blending brush. This is the Morphe E27. I'm going to kind of run that right in the crease area. I'm going to just go in with the purple right here. I was so intrigued by this color. I'm going to use a flat shader brush. This one is from ColourPop. I'm going to dip in here, and I'm going to just see how it is on its own. Okay, so it's not really as intense as I want it to be, as you can see. I'm going to take some concealer, and I'm just going to use my NARS concealer that I have here, the soft matte. And I'm going to kind of carve out the inner part of my lid a little bit with the same ColourPop brush. I feel like doing this with eyeshadows that aren't, I don't want to say pigmented, but when you want your eyeshadow to kind of pop a little bit more and to be a little bit more precise, I feel like this helps. So I'm going to just take that, and I'm not going to do really a cut crease, but I'm going to just take the concealer and cut sort of like the inner part of my crease. So I'm going to use sort of like a domed brush 
This one that I have here is actually from TJ Maxx, and I'm just going to be taking that and on the outer edges of that concealer on my lid, I'm kind of just going to blend them out that way it doesn't look so choppy so since when i applied the eyeshadow it didn't seem really really intense or pigmented right off the bat i'm gonna take the same brush dip in the shadow spray my brush and i'm gonna just use this new smashbox photo finish coconut primer mist and there we go see now we're getting a lot more color payoff than when i first tried to apply it i'm gonna switch brushes i don't really like that brush Oh yeah, once you build it up, you can get more color payoff, as you can see. It's really pretty, though. I love this shade. It's such a different purple. I'm going to take a tinier little brush. This is a Morphe M506. I'm going to use the same orange colors that I was using earlier, and I'm going to just pack those in right on the outer part of my crease, because I feel like I kind of lost those shades. All right, I'm going to use a different blending brush. I'm using a bunch of blending brushes today. This one is from Royal and Lang Nickel. I think I want to add a little bit of black to the look, and I want to test out this black shade in here, so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to just apply a little bit right on the outer part of my crease area. I actually really like it. This is super different. I kind of feel like a brat stall a little bit. And it's funny because people told me before, like, you look like a brat stall. And I'm like, thanks, because I used to love brats when I was younger. But I'm going to go ahead and do my winged liner. And I've been really loving this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. It has a really nice felt tip. So I'm going to just do a wing, and then I'm going to pop on some lashes. And I think I'm going to use these today from Scandal Lashes. I love their lashes, you guys. If you've never tried them, definitely check them out. These are in the style Risky Revenge. They just look really wispy and pretty so I'm gonna just do my liner do my lashes and, and then I'll be right back and we'll do skin so I'm gonna move into skin now I picked up this new Urban Decay to slick complexion primer it says it's shine control pore minimizing and mattifying I tend to go for primers like this because they work really well with my combo skin and I have very oily skin in between my brows and on my t-zone and then the rest of my face is pretty normal to dry pretty much kind of like a skin tone color it smells a little bit minty. I'm just going to apply this pretty much all over. Oh wow, it does feel mattifying like instantly. Probably shouldn't have put that all over my face. Oh yeah, this is definitely matte. Wow, it totally mattified my skin. Completely, like literally instantly. Um, ugh. I don't know, as I'm touching my skin, it literally is like crumbling off. Like it's flaking off and I don't... Okay, that's so weird. I don't know if I like that. I don't even know if I want to put foundation over top of that because I don't think that's going to work really well. All right, I'm going to use a wipe and just wipe that away because I do not like when my skin feels so incredibly dry and matte or when product starts to like ball up on my skin. I feel like it's just not a good look for me and... I'm just not going to deal with it today. So I'm going to just use this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I tried this once in a video that I did. Um, if you guys watched my I Tried Following a Kathleen Lights Makeup Tutorial, I used it then. Haven't used it since. I'm going to use it again today because I really did like it that day. This is really cooling and just really, oh, really hydrating on the skin. This is what I'm talking about. And I'm going to just apply this pretty much mostly on the bottom portion of my face, but I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead because it just feels so dry right now. That I love. I got it at Sephora. I'm going to just use more of this Smashbox coconut water. Oh, it feels so good. So, I'm really excited about this, you guys. Do you see how big this beauty blender is? Um, I talked about this in my last haul. I got this at Target. It's a Sonia Kashuk body sponge. This is per Casey Holmes' recommendation. And do you see how, like, ginormous this is compared to, like, a regular sponge? It's crazy. Um, this one, by the way, is from Essence, which I used it today to clean up my brows. Not a huge fan of it. The shape is kind of odd, and it's not really as squishy as I like. But anyways, for foundation, I don't have, like, a brand new foundation. I'm going to use this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Foundation. It just looks like this. I tested this out in a Flower Beauty video that I did, and I haven't used it since. So I'm going to use it again today and just to see if I still like it, because I did like it the first time that I used it. So um, I didn't really see any brand new foundations when I went to Ulta or... 
at the drugstore or anything recently. And I have this one in the shade Classic Tan M3. So I'm gonna just use this with my flat brush from Koki Cosmetics. And like I said, my skin needs some hydration today. So I'm gonna just spray my brush with the Smashbox Primer Water as well. Ooh, this color may be a little too dark. I don't remember. I think this is the color that I used in that video. But when I used this foundation, it lasted all day because I was wearing my makeup for a long time when I filmed that Flower Beauty video, and it looked really, really good. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try it again. It looks so good right now because I used that primer. And... Actually, the color may look a little dark. I'm gonna dry it down my neck. Oh, I love the coverage. You saw I had some acne down here and it like totally covered it up, so I love that. I really like that. Do you see how like just fresh the skin looks, but it's such great coverage? All right, that's amazing. And I didn't use a whole lot. Like I used about two pumps of the foundation and you can just see how good it looks and how hydrated my skin looks, but I still have really great coverage. Like I don't need to do anything else as far as foundation goes, so. A plus. All right, I have another concealer. This is a new concealer. Well, I don't know if this is brand new, but this is the uh, Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. So many of you guys wanted me to test this out, and I did actually use it, not on camera, um, a few weeks back. I wasn't a huge fan of it the first time I used it, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to use it again today and give it another shot, because why not? And I have this one in the shade 020. So I'm going to just do what I always do with my concealer. I love how it's like pointed right here because when you're getting in between your brows or like underneath your eyes, it makes it so easy. I honestly, I don't know why I didn't like the concealer to be honest. I feel like maybe it was, I don't remember the foundation that I used with it, but maybe that had something to do with it, but it's actually not bad right now. The coverage isn't super full coverage, but it is actually really good. Like I'm going to just add a little bit more because I have such a dramatic look. I don't want my under eye to look not bright at all. I really love the way that it smells. It has like a really nice smell. Hmm. Okay, I actually don't mind this concealer right now. See, that's why you have to keep testing out products. Like, whenever I tell you guys that I don't like a product, I will use it after. I won't just, like, use it once and just give up on it because sometimes, like, this happens. Like, you'll use it once and you just don't like the product and you don't know why, then you use it again and then you might like it, so. Okay, I'm loving this concealer and foundation combo. Maybe when I used this concealer, I didn't use a good foundation, and that's why I wasn't a huge fan of it, but like right now, I love the way that it looks together. All right, so for under eye powder, I got this new Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I also got some things from PR from Essence as well, and I love Essence, such an affordable brand, and I love me a good banana powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna use this Violet Voss brush. Oh, that's nice. A powder that I've actually really been liking is this Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. And this one is just in the shade Translucent. It's just a really nice matte white powder. And I'm just going to take this and very lightly dust it on the rest of my face. If I don't, my blush and my bronzer will be blotchy. So I'm going to fix my eyeliner. You can see I have some powder on it, so I'll fix that. Um, and I'm going to move back into the Soph X palette. I'm going to do some of this orange color right in here. And I'm going to really press that on my lower lash line using a definer brush from Morphe. I'm going to really smoke it out. I love this brush because you can really concentrate the eyeshadow very precisely because it's so tiny, but it's also like a very stiff brush in a good way because it's not like hard like to the point where it hurts your eyes, but you have a lot of control with the product that you're using under here. That's why I love it so much. I'm going to take a little bit of the black on the same brush and I'm going to apply that on the outer part of my lower lash line. I'm really drying this super low with a Morphe E18 brush. I'm really smudging, smudging. <laughs> I'm smoking it out and really dragging it down pretty low on my lower lash line. I'm also going to apply some liner to my waterline. I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. I tried a few colors. I've never tried this shade. It's in the shade Purple Violet. It doesn't exactly match the lid color, but it's purple, so we're going to go with it. <laughs> I 
The liners are super creamy. I do like those L'Oreal liners a lot, actually. For lower lash mascara, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara just to coat the bottom lashes. You cannot forget those. Okay, I did not realize how atrocious my brows looked today. <laughs> they look crazy. I don't know. It's just one of those bad brow days. I need to get my brows waxed. It's been a little while since I've gotten them done, so I think that's why they're just not looking the greatest, but we're just going to move on. I know a lot of people don't like my brows, but I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I have this one in the shade Deep. I love this bronzer. I just picked it up like not too long ago and I've been using it and I really love it. I didn't like it because it didn't show up on my skin. I tried like the light one a few years ago and I'm so happy that they have darker shades now because I'm obsessed and it smells so good. So if you need a darker color, definitely check out this shade because it's perfect. So I'm going to use my Morphe M527 just to bronze the skin. It literally smells like coconut and tanning lotion, which I'm obsessed with. I've been thinking about getting my brows microbladed, you guys, and I don't know. I asked you guys on Twitter, and some of you guys were telling me, like, to go for it, and then you've sent me pictures of yours, and I've been doing research, and I know a girl at my hair salon who does microblading, so I'm really debating it, but I don't know. I'm just so nervous because it's like, I know it's not totally permanent, but it kind of is in a way, so I just, I don't know. I've struggled with my brows for years. I just want to be able to do my makeup without having to worry about them so much because I literally struggle with them constantly. I forgot I had this palette. This is the Catrice Face Techniques palette. Comes with some highlighters, some blushes in here. I'm going to use the contour shades right here to contour because they look a little bit more cool toned than the butter bronzer. So I'm going to just use both of these. I've never tried this palette before so I'm excited. I'm going to use a Morphe R10. Ooh, this color is really nice. It's like a really nice, deep, cool toned shade, but it's not like muddy or anything on my skin, which I like. All right, I'm going to actually just use this banana shade in here, and I'm going to just clean up the contour a little bit. This is a nice little palette. I'm digging it so far. Go Catrice. All right, so I have two different blushes. I have this butter blush that I've never tried before from Physicians Formula. And I think I'm gonna use this on one side of my face because I also have the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Beauty Book. So I'm gonna, I wanna use both of them today. So I'm gonna start off with the Beauty Book today and I'm gonna use, not, well, actually this one does match me the best because I have the warm, yeah. I'm gonna use this shade right here which is called Determined. It's like that really gorgeous orange coral shade. And I'm going to take this with a stippling brush from LA Girl. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. I'm going to definitely tap off the excess. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm going to mix it with this color right here on the top. Oh, this is pigmented. Holy cow. All right, this is the butter blush. And this one I have in the shade Vintage Rouge. It's like a really pretty natural shade. And I'm going to use a Wet n Wild brush. This is pigmented too. This is really pretty, you can see. Gives you a really natural wash of color. This is super buttery, literally just like the name. I love that. So both of these are a win. This one is a little bit more intense, like just the color is more vibrant, but the butter blush is more of a natural sort of wash of color, which I like. I think this is gorgeous for every single day. Or if you don't like a very intense blush look, <laughs> this one's gonna be your best bet. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush just to blend this blush out on this side because it looks a little crazy. And let's wipe away all the makeup that I have on my shirt. <laughs> I have so much. It's literally everywhere. Okay, so I have two highlighters that I want to talk about. The first one is the Pro HD Amplified Palette from Makeup Revolution. This looks really, really good. It looks like a high-end palette. And then I have the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. I saw this on Ulta's website as I was shopping for more stuff for another video that I'm doing. I picked this up like a few days ago and I was like, let me give it a shot. I was like in a Physicians Formula mood, so I just picked this up. And I have this one in the shade Pearl and it, apparently it's a cream to powder highlighter and as with the other physicians from other products they do have like that really nice tropical smell which I love so I'm probably going to use this and this palette because I want to test both of them out today. All right, I'm going to mix a bunch of different colors in here. So I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Extra. And I'm going to take a little bit of the shade next to it, which is Bougie. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of this white over here, which is called Slay. And I'm using my Anastasia A23 brush. Highlighter is all personal preference. I know a lot of people don't enjoy a really intense glow, so 
do what you want. I like an intense glow. And obviously when you highlight, it's going to accentuate texture, so that's what I mean. It's like personal preference. This is so intense. Wow, that's so pretty. I love that. I'm going to use the butter highlighter on the other side. So it's a cream to powder formula. It literally feels like a cream. I'm going to use this with my finger because I feel like that's going to be the best. Oh, ooh, that's pretty. It's like a pink iridescent undertone to it, which I really like. Oh, that is so pretty. Wow. I'm really impressed with Physicians Formula lately. I feel like the formula of this is not accentuating my texture as much as this side. I mean, both are beautiful, but this one is a little bit more smooth, and I think it's because it is a cream to powder formula. Living for it. I really want you guys to see it. It looks so good. They both do, but I definitely think the Physicians Formula one looks a lot better, to be honest. And they do have other colors of that butter highlighter, by the way. And I'm probably going to literally buy all of them because I'm so happy right now with this. I like this side better than this side. Not that I don't like the Makeup Revolution one, I just like the formula and the consistency of that highlighter and just the way that it looks in general, I think it looks better. I'm going to just use this shade right here, Soleil, and I'm going to apply that in the inner tear duct of my eye and my brow bone as well. All right, I'm going to just start by lining my lips with my Catrice Lip Foundation Pencil, which I love. And this one's in the shade Take You to the Chocolate Shop. So this is like one of my favorite lip liners at the drugstore. I have some dose-up colors here, which I've never tried, so I'm going to try these today. So the first color I have is in Bear With Me. It's more of a pink, and then I also have the shade Old Flame, which is more of an orange. I'm thinking, let's mix the two. I'm going to start off by just taking the shade Bear With Me. Oh yeah, that's really peachy. Nude pink. Okay, I'm digging this color. It's really pretty, but I I'm going to add some of this shade Old Flame over top and see what happens. Ooh, it's like an orange. I like that. Let's do some gloss over top. I have another dose of colors gloss, and this one is in the shade Can You Not. Ooh. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Literally so creamy. I'm shocked. It's like not sticky at all. Okay, so I'm gonna just spray my face with the Smashbox So Chill Coconut Water once again. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so happy right now with these makeup products. Like, I feel like the makeup world is just getting so much better as we speak. Drugstore and high-end, I love pretty much every single thing that I've tried today except this Urban Decay Primer just because I don't know if you guys could really tell, but it was literally balled up on my skin, like the product, and it was just so dry. I just didn't like the way my skin felt with it, and I didn't want this video to be a disaster. That's why I didn't keep it on my face because it just felt extremely dry. So I'll use this in a future video or I'll keep using it on my own time and I'll let you guys know what I think but I just don't like it and I moisturized today I did my usual skincare routine like I always do I've never really had any issues with primers for the most part but this is just not good so if it doesn't work I'm gonna return it because this was like almost $40 but everything else I'm obsessed with like this eyeshadow palette though like I'm so happy that you guys recommended it to me you all know me so well and you know what I like and this palette is everything like if you need a good eyeshadow palette this is definitely so good it's only 15 bucks and you get the best colors in here they're really pigmented some you have to build up a little bit more but I think for the price overall it's a really great palette and I, I just love it so I'm really happy with that and I mean I'm just happy in general with everything to be honest this lip color I'm living for orange lips and orange glossy lips is even better to me like this is just so pretty physicians formula these three products you need them in your life like no hesitation just go out and get them I'm telling you just get them and then just thank me later the butter bronzer so good I love the shade the blush beautiful so buttery like this side of my face is like my favorite and usually it's this side of my face but I'm living for this and this highlighter is like so creamy like the formula is just magnificent like it's so nice it's a really nice cream to powder formula because when you apply it it doesn't accentuate as much of the features right here as just a regular powder highlighter would so so yeah, I'm excited to keep using these products in upcoming makeup tutorials for you guys. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Send me makeup tutorials. Just keep sending me things that you want to see because I do write things down, especially those that are very commonly requested. So be on the lookout for a lot of new videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you've tried any of these products down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
Thank you guys for everything, for all your continuous love and support. I appreciate all of you for watching my videos, liking, commenting, everything that you do. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in a few days in my next one. Bye!